International break is one thing, but forcing Arsenal fans, and many other fans, to sit through two weeks of nothingness is a cruel and unusual punishment, especially for those of us that have to write about them. That said, we are almost there. We are almost back to action, and it's Stoke City that will be coming up. Along the lines of nothing happening in these past two weeks, there was one thing that did happen, and that one thing was the somehow debatable contract extension of Egyptian international Mohamed El Nani. I, for one, don't see any possible drawback whatsoever in the deal. But that won't stop the criticism from coming in. Criticism that I'm sure El Nani saw some of, unfortunately. Given the stakes of the Premier League or lack thereof and the stakes of the Europa League, which continues the following Thursday, I would expect a degree of holding back the regular starters, particularly in our midfield with some health questions already. Meaning that Mohamed El Nani should be out there, with his brand new deal. More from pain in the Arsenal now, El Nani ISNT the kind of guy that ever leaves anything on the pitch. He gives 100% every single moment of every single game, without question. He ISNT like a lot of Arsenal players that need motivation, or needs a kick in the arse. That said, if ever there was a reason for El Nani to step up and find another level, which again, I'm not even sure is possible, then this would be it, would NT it. Which is why I will have one eye glued on El Nani the entire match. Again, assuming he starts. El Nani ISNT a high impact kind of player. He is a steady 6 or 7 no matter the circumstance. But he has had matches where he goes above and beyond that usual threshold and manages to impose himself on areas of the game that he ISNT usually impacting, creating chances, for instance. This has the makings of one of those elite El Nani performances. It will be at home against a fairly dull Stoke City team. Everything is in place. And who knows? At just 25 years old, as Arsene Wenger reminded us, El Nani's best days are still ahead of him. Maybe this can be the start of the next era of El Nani. I would NT count it out.